so delighted to be talking with Dorota Godby. Uh, we always have deep conversations when we can. <laughs> and um, so thank you, Dorota, for being here, for doing this. I'll just give you, um, well, so for those who are watching, this is one of the uh, interviews that I do with um, some of my clients, and we will be checking in with Dorota several times during the year and just kind of talk about the, the learnings and the progress that's happening in her business. So Dorota, let's start with introducing your, your business to us. However you want to share about it today is great. Mm. The, the, some years ago, the, the, the term gentle power came to me and I kind of knew that these were my marching orders. Mm. And I, Lovely. so I really love supporting people who are solopreneurs, professionals who are naturally highly sensitive because they thrive on that type of approach to life and work life, gentle power. And typically they struggle with overwhelm, feeling frazzled, um, pulled into many directions. And I have a love of creating order and bringing grace into chaos and plotting the path, kind of customized individual path through the jungle. So I love having kind of reviewing and realignment conversations with people. Mm. that can be useful in wherever there is a review and realignment that's due, whichever area of life um, or work life or relationships, I can also be useful there. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. Just one second here. And I just mentioning your background is a real background. These days, of course, mm -hmm. a lot of people have virtual backgrounds. And I think your background is lovely. And that's that's a real one, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, well, there's lots we can talk about. Um, I'll let you start wherever you like. Um, thank you. You sent me some notes in, in, in advance. And there is just a lot of good stuff there. So where would you like to start? Hmm. Um. It's interesting because context and who, whether it's only for the community or, or other people kind of matters, doesn't it? But in yeah. general, we're talking about the learning about the, the better business practice and our insights about that. Yes. Um, and you, well, maybe I'll start with a kind of um, a, a mini story because I had a colleague conversation from the community recently and we exchanged sessions and I received a soul alignment session, one of those, you know, that sort of mm. illuminates your gift. And yeah, yeah. and just to, I'm sorry, just to, so that when you say community, for those who are watching this, because some of some of those are watching this on, on YouTube, um, Dorota is in the authentic business community program that I run um, that has, you know, specific type, you know, heart based solopreneurs, more spiritual entrepreneurs in there and so when you say you met with a community member it's the, mm -hmm. the people the per somebody in that in that group program yeah mm -hmm. and and there was a, a new piece of information there about me having a relationship to healing through dream work i uh, i haven't done much of this but you know doing my homework i started a dream journal and two days ago i had a dream in which in which I heard someone directly looking at me and saying, you don't, you don't know how powerful you are, do you? And this was, you know, it's kind of funny how, how synchronicity or, you know, when the student is ready, because that's one of the, one of the questions I've been looking at about how our biggest gifts and where we are most useful or powerful, how this is the most hidden. <laughs> part of the picture often. And I, see, I you know, for clients, it's a, I always see it in clients, but of course, like, you know, and, and there's, there's been so many of those um, personality profilings and various readings and healings I've undergone over the years. And still there is um, one of my recent discoveries w was in that department in relationship to my work and my overall um, mission and hope is that I will finally come out of hiding with my work and you know be be useful to more people that's my kind of purpose for the yearly uh, business community journey and and so one so that was kind of one of the little you know uh, nudges that I got but another one was and I'm yet to write an article about it because George you did not, not don't know this but I about two weeks ago I became an overnight success 
and not, not in a completely <laughs> in the way that people talk about it and not that i was expecting it but but i was cooking uh one day with youtube as i do and you know listening to something uh, of interest in this occasion it was human design illuminating some circuitry or other but the point is it was about the relationship to success and what your particular uh, definition of success is and you know what i listened to it was like something started percolating through i woke up the next day and reviewed that information by actually writing out the bullet points that related to me i looked at the list and was dumbfounded because one of the uh, struggles as someone who has got a kind of sensitive trajectory which means long incubation and sort of becoming more empowered later in life i kind of see that a lot with sensitives i that, that it seems to be happening to me as well so so but in that long incubation there could be a lot of anxiety and a lot of um you know self-doubt about maybe maybe i've got it wrong maybe i really am a failure you know it's kind of compared to the comparing my insights to other people's outsides and all of that and so i've i've had that those seeds of anxiety about my own results, despite so much learning and so much training and so much, you know, experimentation and everything. And in that list, I ticked all of those, you know, this was why I had to, to kind of go, you know what, by my own standards, I am a success. And it was, it literally was from anxiety about being a failure to, I am a success because not only i tick all of those boxes i live by them i prioritize things by them i always have this is you know my relationships are sort of organized that way and my work is organized that way and my pleasure it really was so i'm still integrating what this means and then you know a few days later dream comes and tells me you don't know how powerful you are and you know it's like it's everywhere everywhere i look now it's so there is a kind of uh, curiosity in me now about what it looks like to approach the same learning trajectory and you know our course uh, assignments and the colleague conversations but from that new place of standing in a in a, in a more of a sense of my own uh, wholeness and uh, calm and kind of you know like really a sense of of sovereignty rather than that always niggle that mm, you know, this, what if it's not working out and uh, it will not work out. So, mm. it's, so it's beautiful. And, you yeah. know, and add to this that my uh, garden, I have, I choose three garden qualities of being for the year. And one of the, the, the ones that, that are guarding my 2023 is divine high self-esteem. And they are just working on me, you know, mm -hmm. because it's all like just it's it's not even anything that I am doing in particular. It's kind of you know I have it in my peripheral vision as the the reference or a prayer um, to turn to. But these things that are beginning to come, it's really beautiful, and I love it because, of course, this is nothing new to me. This is what happens when I work with clients. But but you know, it's like that's always hardest to see for yourself and to have a sense of those better options and uh, you know one's own beauty is it's hardest to see in power it, yes it's hardest. oh my gosh it's there's so much richness there what you just said um well first of all uh I don't know if you often have those kinds of dreams or not, but I'm like, mm, I wish I had more meaningful dreams like that. <laughs> but, but that's really amazing. Um, the success thing that you said, you you kind of ticked off the boxes and realized that, wow, you have been, um, uh, well, you know, authentic business is where I talk about it. And that means that the metric of our success or the definition of it has to be um, unique to us rather than, you know, what's seen out there six figure yeah. seven figure whatever number there might be but it's like there are certain um i don't know it could be habits we're trying to develop or like experiences we're trying to have or uh, little projects that we want to get done or big projects or whatever it's like it's like if we can if 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 we have that my intention and then we we did it or we experienced it then we should celebrate right along the way and it 
and like you said, that long incubation period, it makes me so curious because it's like incubation towards what? It's like, is is the end goal or or vision um, too much to expect in terms of a certain timeline or or can we, I guess, chunk them down really? And which is why you're doing, you've been in our, in our group community program, you've been doing these ha group hangouts called the Compassionate Monthly Review, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like, we could celebrate every month. I hope, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, we can, we yeah. can appreciate our progress mm -hmm. every month. Um, tell, tell us a, a bit about that actually. So that's one of the things you, and, and people are attending, people seem to have enjoyed it, those who attended. So, and then you're using the process yourself. So tell us a bit about that. This is because, you know, the hardest thing, we are surrounded by uh, experts, by uh, trainings, by examples, by worthy shoots, you know, and all those different areas of our lives, you know, mind, body, spirit. But the hardest thing to do is to calibrate all of it for your own reality and, you know, plot the course that is relatively simple and doable and energizing amongst you know through the jungle that's the hardest thing to do and of course add all of the traumas and the learned um um dismissals that you know we carry that it's it's hard to do and have a positive experience with it rather than you know shame or guilt or a sense of being behind all of that and this is what i discovered that that um and that's another kind of clarification about, you know, like our individual alignment, but what works for us. So I'm definitely not a goal orientated step by step girl. I am an emergent gradual development with regular reviews. This is what I learned. And so if I really deeply review, whether it's a month or a quarter, it gives me so much clarity and but on the level that really I can see the path through the jungle and then I don't overdo and don't overstress and, and don't overreach. So because this is so powerful and actually joyful, then then I you know I really recommend this to others, especially people who are working in a more organic way, more creative, more spiritual, those kind of you know peace rather than Jace on the Myers Briggs. This is this is hardest to because we compare ourselves to the kind of more left brain norms in the world and it can always feel hard to feel that sense of success or, or self esteem because because we cannot do it that way anyway, and this reviewing and the the gentle realignment feels so much more. Uh, and we're kind of, you know, more aligned with kind of how my system is configured and also the evidence of progress or where something needs to change is, is kinder and kind of more accessible that way. So, you know, it wouldn't work for everyone. There are people who are motivated by stress or by direct going for something and deadline, you know, there are those who get energy in their bodies then. It's not for everyone necessarily, but I, I swear by it so yeah and it was so joyful people were really happy because it was you know if I ask a really good questions and and hold lovely gentle energy for 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 people inquiring themselves and getting witnessing then it really that emergent insight comes through and you know I kind of um when I know I kind of had this sense that a little bit of how those spaces happen and how I work with clients that it's a little bit like remember in the 90s st stereograms were so popular those pictures where you were kind of if you re could relax you could see the 3d depth in the picture they yeah. were kind of like sort of yeah. lots of lots of patterns but you had to relax in order to see yes. the depth yes yeah yeah there's there's a picture but otherwise if you didn't it just looked like squiggly lines or whatever yes yeah. and it looks kind of flat Right. And today, as I was, I was, I, I wanted to look up that reference, whether you know whether that's a, the right metaphor to explain what I mean. And I learned that uh, apparently, because we used to do them for fun, but apparently, 
people discovered that they now using them can improve your vision and help you with stress relief. Wow. So there is something about relaxing and seeing the depth of your own picture that allows you actually to have you know better state and better progress better stamina you know be it vision or otherwise so it really is but it's the hardest thing to do because look what happens we are just torn apart by various course here recommendation there you know a, a to-do list elsewhere and that's the hardest thing to do is to relax and to interact with your own pictures and not with those what my uh, um, natural advantage colleague calls injected ideals mm. you know that that and, and it's the hardest, you know, it's the hardest with people we love or admire because then it's very hard not to kind of try to be like them rather than yes. be in relationship with your own. That's right. Power gifts, you know, trajectory. Yes. This is a this is a very important message and it's not said enough, um, especially those who are watching or listening to this, um, we love to learn. You know, we love to um, admire others and gain from others' teachings and mm -hmm. uh, experiences and wisdom and resources. And it is too easy to well, give our power away. I mean, no one even realize we're doing it. And so I really love that you're bringing this idea in. Um, and you, earlier you said, divine self-esteem that is something that is that is say more about that and what are you how are you working with that what are you learning about mm -hmm. that uh the 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 languaging of it comes from sufism which is one of my um uh friendships uh, in my life um because they refer to the qualities of being as divine names or divine uh, qualities that the the, the 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 notion being that they are not manufactured by us or something that we do but something that we make ourselves available to and therefore can experience and transmit into the world and i love that way of referencing it because otherwise i could not you know even human high self-esteem i've struggled with in life being a minority trait and being you know all these things that are minority a girl and a foreigner and you know not uh, you know grew up in poor circumstances all of these things that 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 do not add up to high self-esteem as the world of caesar would have have it so 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 even that was hard but to align with the kind of self-esteem. You see, when, when those qualities come to me, I don't, they come to me as assignments or um, a kind of ways to access more liberation, but I don't, it, it takes me a year to grow into them. So this is where February, you know, I'm just beginning to get those lessons and those relaxations into what this means. And the, you know, the stories I told, there was kind of how it's beginning. But of, I, of course, as someone who has, I am a 6'2 in human design. And so this is someone with distinct three life stages and, you know, pretty much hell on earth the, to start with and then deep investigation to heal that and make sense of that. And then finally coming out and being useful in the marketplace, really being really visible and impactful for all of the you know, lessons you've learned. And I kind of, I really recognize this in my own life. But what this means is that I've been digging and, you know, in secret to, to find those things and not going, I've got it for 50 years. So it, it takes a little bit of undoing of those habits of, of, you know, digging deep, but somewhat on the sidelines of things. So I kind of sense that this quality would be a good guide for me for the year when I am attempting with the beautiful support of the community and, and your guidance to you know, admit to the impact and admit to the wisdom and admit to what I can do for people. And, and it's kind of the admitting which is new. You know, I in sessions with clients, I see it, I hear it. You know, it's very humbling to see the, the kind of beauty of those stereograms emerging for people and and then being surprised that it can be that simple or that, that they feel so encouraged. 
but then to be visible for that you know that takes that a little bit of divine help to be to, to be able to stand in that place and not to shrink away or immediately you know somehow sabotage it because because it's so new and so scary that's right yeah mm. it is a, a gradual process of um being being okay standing in that light uh and, and having that impact mm. um so amazingly the time is already starting to wrap up so so as we uh as we wrap up this conversation uh, i guess i have two questions for you one i definitely want you to share uh about more about your work do you have any offers offerings that you want to mention here but also um just to complete this idea of divine or not complete but continuing on mm -hmm. it's like how when we check in again next time on this interview how might you envision that the divine self-esteem has continued to manifest or to integrate mm -hmm. for you so i have um uh, i am using your course to fix my bugs you know in the kind of the poor habits or the kind of places where something is not configured right and so i've been looking at the yearly intentions in january at money in february but going forward i need to fix distribution or what you call distribution that exactly that thing of you know whatever i create be it uh, writing or or, or my art uh, my courses that somehow you know more people see them because that's um, i managed to get my facebook blocked from advertising and so i uh, managed i'm saying managed it, it seems like self-sabotage in the hidden era um, uh, so so i need to find alternatives to this and i'll be doing a linkedin course uh, to, we, you know, we might to, be able to, to fix that together we'll, but we'll talk offline yeah, about yeah. that <laughs> and 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 uh, but the, the point is that i want to learn about the rhythms of being visible regularly and you know enough that that's the piece that that um which is Excellent. completely related to that okay yeah. now now i'm standing in more self-esteem and it's yes. been the last two months have been amazing coming through it's like okay what does it look like to then be seen for that that's right sure. yes <laughs> so, yeah. well um, and this 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 yeah. interview series is mm. part of part of that mm. experience mm. um well tell us about your how you love working with clients at this time what is what are what are some things people can reach out to you about yeah talking of which right like the um so this uh, compassionate review and realignment conversation i really love it and um i realized that i have had only longer programs uh, for one-to-one -one work so i i am piloting compassionate review and realignment uh conversation as a one-off so so this I will be offering to the community as a as a pilot, and so this is where people can um, take either one aspect of their work, or one problem, or one system that they would like to upgrade, and figure it out together. You know, just just look at the stereogram and see the path through the jungle, and and get it and the kind of sense of where the better options lie and where your strengths lie. And where there are easy fixes so i love this conversation it's very energizing to me and so i'll be offering this as a one-off and it's also of course a then good way to try what it feels like to work with me so that, that's that uh, that's uh, gone um, that's gonna be happening pilots in this month and in march and um and so i'll want as many guinea pigs as possible for that yeah uh, wonderful well of course i will put the links to how to follow up with you below mm -hmm. yeah and then in March, because I, you know, the reason why you, you notice the space, because it's pretty much spring cleaned. I've started getting that sense of light is here. I see what's dusty. I see what needs rearranging. And because one of my hats is as a decluttering doula, I want to offer a course that will be so very seasonally placed. And I, I just love how changing, transforming physical space affects our operations and vice versa and shows us more of of the more soulful or work territory as well so the the title i have, I have a course coming up in march over three sundays starting on 11th of march that i call soulful space clearing because 
you can take one area or one room in your physical space and however whatever happens there whether it's your office or i don't know your kitchen or whatever you you can reorganize it clean it and reorganize it and bring the sense of grace of visible visible grace and authenticity into it so that you are kind of you know all set to come out and i guess like me be visible right more visible for the year for the, yes. in the summer and with a fuller fuller energy so oh, that is a fun thing that. because usually it's cleaning or clearing or clutter cleaning any of the or even looking at your gremlins is can be kind of overwhelming on your own yeah. and when you have a little bit of encouragement a little bit of companionship a little bit of structure you know it's completely different game so oh wow i i yeah it's both are wonderful offerings and i hope people will uh will take you up on it and check it out so yeah. look at the links Thank below you, and um yeah well, Dorota, we look forward to our, this continuing on. Uh, let's check in again in a few months. So thank you so much for doing this. And thank you. Thank you for holding the space for our incubations and innovations and, and bug fixing. Priceless, yeah. priceless to have the, the frame and the guidance for it. Yeah. Thank you, George. Thank you so much.